is in the best of health and high spirits today and just having an awesome day. Today in Betty's Kitchen, we're going to be frying some country southern style pork chops. Yeah, we're going to fix some pork chops today. Easy, fast dinner when you come in from work. Takes no time at all to fix them. So, without further ado, I'm going to wash my hands and we're going to get this party started. So today, I have some pork chops, and I have the thin layer cut pork chops. Um, generally, if I fry my pork chops, I like mine uh, basically on the thinner side. If I'm going to fry them and then smother them in some gravy, then I normally get a thicker cut. So um, today, these are the ingredients we're going to be using. We have some all-purpose flour, salt, pepper, garlic salt, onion powder, paprika, um, some lemon pepper, and of course our oil, pork chops, and our pork chops. So, we're going to season these bad boys down. So, I hope everybody's having a day. It was um, awesome. A holiday is coming. Um, this weekend, I'm going to be dropping some nice desserts, and I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy and hopefully try for the holidays. Okay, so um, I have washed my pork chops and um, dried them down. So first off, we're going to season them with just a little bit of um, salt lightly, because that's like I, um, regular white salt, because I said I have some, some garlic salt. We're going to put a little pepper on it, black pepper. We're going to put this to the side because we're going to do um, the same thing for everything, okay? So we got our salt and pepper on here. Um, we're going to put a little bit of um, onion powder on here. Sprinkle a little onion powder. A little bit of garlic powder. And here in my flour, um, I'm actually going to dump a little, that gar the garlic salt I said I had, I'm going to put that in there. That's some garlic salt. And also, I'm going to sprinkle, and you know, of course, I will give you guys the measurements. I'm going to sprinkle some paprika, not the smoke, the original paprika. We're going to put this in our flour. This helps give you a nice brownness, um, you know, to your ribs. And I have some... Uh, lemon pepper. So we're going to put like, I would say like a half a teaspoon of lemon pepper. And um, your pork chops will be really um, a little zesty, kind of like really, really nice um, taste to it. I'm going to stir this around. Mix that up. And I have a little bit of learner um, Season all, basically season all. I'm gonna put a little bit of season all, like a half a teaspoon of season all. So that's why we're gonna go real lightly with um we're gonna season that up. I'm gonna go over here, get my pan started so they can start heating up. I guess y'all know by now I don't like to spend a whole lot of time in the kitchen. I like to do what I'm going to do, get it done, get the food on the table, and we get down and go ahead and eat, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm going to flip these bad boys over, and we're going to put a little pepper. Because our flour is seasoned very well, you know, and like I said, you, you don't have to be um, 
I just like for everybody to be cautious with your salt. Um, but like your lemon pepper and, and your pepper and um, onion powder and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to be, you know, um, you know, you can season your stuff. Season your stuff. So you can have some nice taste. Nice taste to it. Yeah. Let's put some more pepper on here. I switched out my glove because I had picked up these um, uh, containers. And I want to, you know, dip that in there. So I didn't want to use, you know, our same glove for everything. So we're going to dip this around in our flour. Coat it real good. It smells good. This seasoning on here, that lemon pepper. Yeah. Like I said, I like to use a really, I like a thin cut of a pork chop when I'm um, just frying it. If I'm going to smother it in gravy or put barbecue sauce or something like that. Woo! Let me put my apron on. Barbecue sauce or something. Um, you know, then I'll get a thicker layer of a pork chop. I did fix a pot of rice today. That was fast. Um, just trying to do a fast meal, feed my family. You know, of course, I always tell y'all, I don't cook a lot because I have a small family. And um, I'm going to plate this up with some rice and some collard greens. Yeah. So... See that? All done. Season up. Ready to roll. Ready to get ready for the pot. As soon as our pan, um, as soon as our pan heats up and everything. So, um, as soon as our pan heat up, we're gonna mosey on up to the stove and put our chops in there and um, get this fast, easy, crispy pork chop. On the road. See you in a sec at the stove. At the stove. And um let's see if our flour if our um drop a little flour in here. See if our pan is hot. Yep, our pan is hot. And I'm gonna start dropping these thin layer cuts of pork chops in here. I'm going to reduce my heat to a medium low. And we're going to let these babies fry. There we go. We're going to let them fry for maybe like, they thin, so maybe like, maybe like three minutes on each side. Flip the pork chops over. They're browning so nice and pretty. Um, it's been like three minutes on this side. I'm going to let them cook for maybe like two to three minutes on the other side. I'm going to take those out and I'm going to put the others in the pan. And we'll be plating this up real soon. You don't have to uh, slave over a stove for hours when you get in from work to get a nice southern country good juicy pork chop to put on your plate so we're gonna let this cook for maybe like another minute and a half we're gonna take these out and you put these other got, i got my last three um chops in there look how nice they browning i'm gonna be taking these out in like a minute i flipped them over to the other side so i'm gonna be taking them out um in a minute See how good they look, and they are so nice and crispy. I'm gonna see you guys over at the table in a few seconds. We're gonna plate I'm this up, y'all. Look at them chops. 
Look at them chops, so nice and crispy. Oh my goodness, look at that. And guess what? They just as delicious as they look. I don't plated it up. Oh my God, you know what? Hold on a sec, guys. Y'all, I forgot I had made me some cornbread. Mmm, it's delicious. Well, look at that. Y'all see that pork chop? Mm. Oh, my goodness. Uh-uh. So nice and crispy. Y'all have got to try, try my recipe and put that lemon pepper on it. It gives it a really good taste, different from the traditional um, pork chop. You mm see -hmm. that? Mm -mm, so good. And guess what? I got me some homemade garlic mashed potatoes. Mm. Some homemade collard greens. My leftover collard greens from yesterday. Mmm. Y'all got to go find my recipe for my homemade greens with turkey, with um, smoked turkey meat. And I'm going to give you my recipe for my garlic potatoes. But you know what? I'm not going to disrespect my friends like that and just eat that pork chop like that in front of y'all face. But I got some more exciting recipes coming your way. And I'm definitely going to share with y'all. So, if y'all would just be so kind to like, subscribe, and definitely share this with your friends and family, I would be so appreciative. But, I'm going to get off of here, put me some hot sauce on this pork chop, and I'm going to get down and look forward to my holiday pies and um, bread puddings and rice puddings and apple pies and stuff. Coming up, they're going to drop this week. Anyway, peace and love to everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for your, those of y'all that showed me all the love and subscribed and, um, and viewed and liked my video. It's truly appreciated. So on that note, everybody have an awesome night. And see you on the next open house. Love y'all. Have a great one.